SpaceX Starship took a big leap with the latest 12.5 km flight test of the Starship SN8. On 9 December, Starship took the skies with the three Raptor engines, becoming the first full scale Starship prototype to lift off with the three Raptors. The goal of this flight were to launch using three engines, reach the maximum altitude of 12.5 km, flip on its belly, and have a controlled descent using the flaps, and lastly, to relight those Raptor engines to land. SpaceX was walking into the unknown with this flight. This is why everyone including SpaceX CEO Elon Musk said that just reaching the maximum altitude will be a major win. So Starship SN8 was lifted off from the launch mount successfully. SN8 continued to soar and had a very stable ascent. And then at around T plus 1 minute 45 second, one of the Raptor engines just shut down. And to anyone who was seeing it live or saw the flight for the first time, would have thought it to be an engine failure. However, the Starship SN8 kept up with the ascent profile with two Raptor engines and then at around T plus 3 minutes 15 seconds, the second engine shut down. This was all intentional and was part of the flight profile. What SpaceX did was intentional as they wanted the vertical velocity of Starship to be zero at the apogee. So the Starship reached near its apogee of 12.5 km with one engine ignited. Then as you can see Starship SN8 started to descend. The one engine that was still on was used to flip it a few degrees on its belly before it shut down so that the flaps on the Starship can take over for the control descent. The aerodynamic flaps performed exceptionally well as the Starship glided towards its landing pad. Now comes the most important part of the flight profile where the Starship had to relight the Raptor engines and flip on its belly to land. And for a moment during this complex maneuver, it looked completely good and the flip was successful. However, just two of the three Raptor engines ignited for the burn. I don't know if this was intentional or the third Raptor didn't ignite. And as the Starship slowed down for the landing, one of the engines just melted. You can see it with a bright green exhaust. And in the last moment, the other engine went out causing the loss in thrust, which resulted in high landing speed and the rocket went out in a ball of fire. Though it may seem as a landing failure, it was still a big leap towards achieving full reusability. So what went wrong? When looking at the milestones for the flight, Starship had successful ascent, it flipped on its belly and had a controlled descent successfully, Starship successfully did the belly flop. The only thing that went wrong was the engine failure during the landing burn. Shortly after the test flight, Elon Musk tweeted about it, saying, successful ascent, switch over to header tank and precise flap control to landing point. He also went on to say about the cause of failure. He wrote that fuel header tank pressure was low during the landing burn, causing touchdown velocity to be high and a rapid unplanned disassembly. The Starship uses two header tanks for its landing burn. One header tank is for the liquid methane and the other is for the liquid oxygen. The methane header tank is located between the main oxygen tank and the methane tank, while the oxygen header tank is situated at the top of the Starship in the nose cone section. These tanks are responsible to provide the fuel to ignite the Raptor engines for the landing burn. However, during this flight test of Starship SN8, the pressure inside the liquid methane header tank dropped. And because of this, not enough amount of methane was being pumped inside the Raptor engine's combustion chamber. While the engine starved for the fuel, the oxygen cycle of the Raptor engine was performing at the optimum level. So, it, this resulted in the combustion to be oxygen rich. I have discussed about the engineering challenges when working with the oxygen rich cycle in my video on the Raptor engine. You can watch it if you want to know more about it. To explain the problem with the oxygen rich cycle in short, when we have an oxygen rich cycle, the temperature soars very high and it can melt almost all the metals we know of. That's also the reason why SpaceX had to develop the inconel super alloy for the Raptor oxygen rich cycle. So, as the combustion inside the engine went oxygen rich, one of the engines melted due to very high temperature. This is why we see the bright green exhaust as the Raptor was effectively using itself as propellant. This resulted in loss of thrust and higher than expected landing velocity eventually leading to the rapid unplanned disassembly. SpaceX also released a video feed of the belly flop maneuver from the angle where we can see the engine relight. So as you can see the Starship descended and relighted the engines which were used to flip the rocket. And then as the Raptor went engine rich and thrust kept decreasing we can see the rocket struggling to reduce velocity. However, the most beautiful part of the Starship SN8 12.5 km flight test was that it was a test. And during test, a lot of things can go wrong and complete success is the least expected thing. And what Starship SN8 did in the flight test was beyond everyone's expectation. Elon Musk wrote about this on Twitter saying, SN8 did great, even reaching Apogee would have been great, so controlling all the way to putting the crater in the right spot was epic. Another great part is that we already have Starship SN9 and SN10 almost flight ready. And the flight test of SN8 has given SpaceX with all the important data that will be needed to make necessary hardware and software tweaks to the Starship for the future tests. The next Starship high altitude flight test can actually take place before the end of the year if everything goes as per plan. 
However, this flight has proved that the fully reusable rocket are not very far away and the dream of spacefaring future is looking bright. Starship is looking on target to achieve the big milestone of reaching orbit next year. So in short, the SNH flight was just one milestone of many that are yet to come. That's all for today's video. If you like the content, do consider subscribing the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.